Hey guys, it's Cat Sketch here today. We are going to do a chit chat, get ready with me because it has been a while since I even done this video. Not, but not only that, it's been a while since I've done beauty makeup and I have been eyeing this palette that I got in the mail. Would you look at this baby? It has fall everything, pumpkin spice leaves. It reminds me of it all of fall. So I'm like, I cannot wait to bust this open. So we're going to play with that today in some brand new makeup. And I'm going to tell you what's been happening since the last time I talked to you guys. I feel like one of the last Chit Chat Get Ready With Me videos, I just overcame a serious bout of depression. And I'm going to tell you, this video is also going to be about update life things and scams. Because I feel like I'm your older sister who wants to tell you what's the tea and who is trying to scam you and scams I've been through to get you through your life. So that's what we're going to do today, sisters. Let me just get my raggedy hair. I'm getting it done tomorrow. So you're seeing it at its not cutest. So I don't have a new primer or face base today, so today I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown, and I've been loving this, the Monistat. This is chafing gel. It can be used for multiple things, and I like to use it for when I have, like, events and gigs right on the spots, because silicone-based primers, they hate my skin. And there's other things that hate my skin lately, including, well, it hates my whole body my kidneys. I haven't talked about this and I mentioned on Twitter that uh, this has been the most unlucky month of my life and I'm not like over exaggerating or anything like that and I am still lucky because there's people out there who are in poverty, dying of cancer, I know that, but what I'm dealing with is my kidneys do not like me whatsoever like you know when some people just don't like you and you try everything and you're a people pleaser if you're like me and try everything to get someone to like you because you find out that they just don't like you the older i get the more i find out that's okay but my kidneys girl i've done everything i've bent over backwards to get those girls to like me my kidneys do not like me and it sucks because, before I talk about that, let me just get this new Revlon Photo Ready foundation situation and concealer because I'm excited about her because I used to be a huge fan of the Revlon Photo Ready original foundation. This is a brand new one. It's called Photo Ready Candid and they have a concealer with it and a powder and some brushes. So let's try her. They gave me three shades. This one looks a little too light. This one's too dark. So let's play the three little bears and go with this middle one. But what I was saying was my kidneys just don't, they don't like to fully function. What happened was back, I want to say, I forgot. It was during the summer. I got not only kidney stones, but a month around there, I got bladder infection, which infections unfortunately run in my family rampant throughout our bodies. A lot of the females in my family, we get the urinary tract infection, the bladder infection, we get sinus infection, the lung infection, the ears infections, just everything that could go wrong with us, sis. The women in my family go through it. This brush is awesome. It's so soft and I love how it's buffing this foundation. First time using this. So what happened was I not only had my first set of kidney stones and some of them were like the size of rice and it wasn't as painful as most people say but everyone's different and but <laughs> knock on wood I don't get them again. Kidney stones are known to be as painful as pregnancies I've heard but I love this and not only did I have the kidney stones, but I had a very bad bladder infection that one of my doctors, I thought he was messing with me. He's like, your infection's so bad that it's heading towards your kidneys. So I was on a high stage of antibiotics for that. And the antibiotics worked. I felt better, but I have a feeling that weakened my kidneys to where they got infected again. I didn't get another infection this time, but I have a feeling that affected my kidneys so bad to the point that everything's like piling on top of itself and going downhill unfortunately in my body right now and it's not the worst it sounds scary when i explain this to you guys but what i think what happened was i have been getting such bad sinus allergies like so bad to where 
the liquid stuffed in my sinus allergies, if they can't escape from me blowing my nose, doing neti pots, doing my nose spray medication, all that, they go down into my lungs and I throw up everywhere. Like bile, because there's, this is pretty, because there's no other way for it to escape. And I think some of it's escaping into my lung and I have liquid in my lungs right now, like water. I had an ultrasound on my abdomen so they could look at my kidneys to make sure I didn't have kidney stones because that also runs in my family unfortunately and I wanted to see what the damage was from this infection and kidney stones that's when they found the water like liquid in my lungs and I've been having pains when I sleep in my lung you have to go with your gut feeling when you feel like something bad is happening because lately I've been getting such bad acid, what I thought was acid reflux, because I get acid reflux from anxiety, it turned out to be water in my lungs. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke today because Corey's like devastated over my medical issues and he's so like heartbroken for me. I love this applicator, brand new one I've never seen before. Uh, I told him, you know what, if I was a rapper right now, my name would be Aqua Lung <laughs> or Drippy Lung. Just try to make people laugh because in this type of situation, like, I mean, when I found out, I got test results at midnight. I was like bawling my eyes out. And I know I, it may sound a little over dramatic, but you know, I find out all these bad things. I have water in my lung, my kidneys aren't failing on me yet. They're infected. <laughs> They're down in the dumps really bad right now. I'm on medication now. I feel like this concealer is doing nothing for me, by the way. And. I can't have dairy for a week from this medication I'm on. That will hopefully cure my kidneys or else I'll have to get a kidney transplant. So don't worry about me. I'm on medicine, feeling a lot better. I'm on my first day. I was literally getting my nails done today and I thought I was going to pass out from, um, it almost feels like, like when you have period cramps, if you're a woman and you have period cramps that are really bad, it almost feels like that but it goes to your back to where your kidney is and that's when I know my kidneys are bad. That's just the type of situation I'm in right now. And they're already feeling a little better and like with a lot of water, tea, and naps and medicine. And no cheese, delicious cheese or milk. So that's what's been going on. I didn't, I literally wanted to make that portion of this video very short. You know, just hop on in. It's like, hey friend, my kidneys, she's a and my lungs are not doing so hot. But I wanna be honest with you because I'm honest with a lot of my friends. Speaking of, before this video comes out, I need to text my, some of my friends and actually tell them because I'm sure they're gonna be upset like, listen girl, why didn't you tell us your kidneys are dying? Oh, I love when a brand new tart. It's a brand new one because my other one ran out. There's just so much, just so much. I have to look after my health. I'm the type of person I will take care of everybody else but for myself and I need to step back and, you know, take care of myself. I just turned 30 since I last saw you, which is crazy. And I went to Disneyland with my friends. We had some bad luck that day because some my friends, like, they were having bad luck and just, I don't know what it is. Once I hit 30, like, on top of the lung and the my knees, whenever I work out, are dislocating because you need to stretch before you do your workouts and I haven't been doing that like a dummy. So my knees are like, oh, bye sis, lungs bye, kidneys bye. So I'm learning a lot to take care of myself <laughs> right now. But let's talk about these scams so that you guys can protect yourself from these scams. I just used three different concealers, wow. We're going extra today. This foundation is beautiful. I'm so nervous to use this powder they sent me. But let me tell you about these scams, girl, that people are playing you because I've experienced it. I got offered an opportunity for free laser treatment and I did it on Instagram and I mentioned it on here in a couple monthly favorites because that was the deal. You know how us influencers, we get deals like that? Surprise, we get that. If you didn't know that, sorry about your life to expose that right now, but... A lot of influencers, we get free stuff for exposure because I know a lot of people hate on us getting YouTubers in specific, getting money for certain stuff. I always tell you guys when I'm sponsored, I'm super honest and open with you guys. I loved their facility. The people that worked there were so awesome. I wasn't getting paid. 
at all. I always tell you when I'm sponsored, I put in the details in the description when I'm sponsored and I let you know and I only take on people that I like that I sponsored. This was spon uh, sponsor. I don't know if it's sponsored. I wasn't getting paid, but I was getting free treatments for to post on Instagram and t mention just a little bit on YouTube. And I don't mind this powder. I feel like it'd give a flashback. It's just the flashback. My whole face looks. Yeah, don't wear this out to an event, but it looks cute on camera. I hope because it does give a ton of flashback. But like I was saying, I was getting free laser hair removal. Just starting off on a small space I did on my armpits. It didn't hurt that bad. It was like a stinging. And it was like not that bad as I thought it was going to be. Warning, it did make it smell like bird hair. Didn't expect that. Don't know why, even though it's burning your hair away. But I did the recommended whole sessions. I did like seven or eight of them, right? You have to do that many to get rid of hair. I still grow hair on my armpits. Isn't that supposed to? And if I paid for that, it would have been like over $200, probably more, over $200 for my armpits. So watch out for laser hair removal, who you do it with, because it doesn't always get rid of all the hair. It probably just makes it less, but I still have to shave my armpits. So I was upset about that. They offered me to do free services for advertisement and I didn't take it. And nothing against laser away. You know, there's laser hair removal in the title of it. I thought I wasn't gonna have to shave for the rest of my life and it was gonna be like magic, like whippity dippity doo dah, Disney fairy godmother just comes in and gives me this magic hairless armpit. But no, that's not how it works, sis. Have y'all tried the hype that is this P. Louise concealer? Because she is everything that everyone's been talking about. Miss Nikki Tutorials, I feel like, was one of the first gurus. Probably, maybe not the first, but she was one of the first to talk about this concealer and how amazingly pigmented. And it just makes your eyeshadow, like, go to infinity and beyond to where every single Toy Story character is jealous of your look. Because Andy's going to be playing with you, sis, when you have this on. But... Let me tell you about these lip injections. Kylie Jenner is very, very, very well known for her fake lips. And the person that did, the doctor that did her lip injections, there's so much, I wanna link, put a link down below. There's so much going on with him. He had his like, there was one point where he wasn't certified and he had like his stuff taken away from him because there's just so much going on so much shady stuff who had so much backlash behind him and you have to watch out because i'm not saying her doctor did this but when they put, put lip injections and they roll your lip they could do it wrong to where it builds up scar tissue i found out good thing my mama gave me big lips everyone asked it where do i get my lips done when i lit when i go to hollywood la i got them from my mom literally because i'd never had them done thank goodness but if you're getting them done really research actually know someone who's had their lips done from the person you are thinking about going to because I filmed my friend for her Instagram on her lip injections and sis when I tell you that we both thought it was just a prick and then that's it no they put the to the base of the needle into your lip she wanted me to film it for her but I was blacking out and having cold chill sweats I'm like I've they warned me that that happens, but I was like, oh no, I got this. I do effects makeup. I know blood, but that was fake blood. This was real blood. It was a lot. There was so much blood when she was getting her lip done and I wasn't prepared. I hope that her lips were good because you could get a lot of scar tissue buildup and a lot of people that get their lips done, they have to get them redone, especially if they have some like Juvederm to where they have to go back and get it done again. And it's so much money. I'm not knocking down lip injections. You do you, you could do what you want. But girl, when I saw that, I thought my soul was leaving my body and that's why I was blacking out. When I saw all that blood, the how they use the needle to do the lip injection. So watch out when people and influencers who they advertise because I don't know if they always do their research unfortunately. I'm sure my friend, her lips looked fine to me and I don't think she got bad lip injections. I just think you need to be careful on who your lip injections is from. And those teas that people sell you on Instagram, girl, 
Let me tell you, you could buy that tea because it just makes you poop a lot to get rid of that bloating that Instagrammers hawk off. It's not only Instagrammers, it's celebrities. We're not going to just say it. It's celebrities that I'm not going to put it on just Instagrammers. There's a lot of people. I do consider it a real job, but you need to research what you're commercializing to your audience. I'm sure people make mistakes, but they need to own up to their mistakes too. You just need to watch out. All that tea does is make you poo, like non-stop. And you could get poo tea at Sprouts for like five bucks. Sprouts is a grocery store. Okay, let me try another color. Cause that shan't too, ooh yes. Cause the other one was good, but it was too champagne-like. And we want gold. So watch out for those teas they hawk you. I don't know if those gummy bears work, but they don't look promising to me. I've never seen any real results from eating a gummy bear. Cause I feel like it's just biotin in a gummy that you could get from Target. But that's just me. That's not really a scam. I can't knock that because I haven't tried it. I should buy those and try them for you all. Because I've been offered by the gummy bear hair people to work for them, but I'm too scared because I'm like, I don't know if this works. I don't want to hawk nothing I haven't tried first. This oh, this palette definitely fave. Oh my gosh, let me tell you about the trainer I had that was a scam. So I had a personal trainer when I lived closer to Hollywood. I don't live close to Hollywood, nowhere near there anymore. Cause it just wasn't my vibe. I like living by the ocean, farther from Hollywood, but I had a trainer, paid him. I literally hired this guy because I heard that he, he did Miss America pageant, ma I wanna say makeups. He trained those, those girls and they sound popping. I mean, it took a lot of hard work, but I was ready to put in this work to get some sort of body that was a potato that was not a potato. I, mean, I would take a potato if she was like a skinny little french fry. I mean, I do love my curves. I'm not curves. I'm not a plus size and I'm not skinny mini. I'm like medium size. There's a girl on YouTube I follow who I'm the same size as her, which is a size 10 to 12. And when you're 10 to 12, you're not full plus size that is like 14 16 above and you're not which i think it's over 16 and you're not i'm not like an eight or under i just wanted my stomach to look a little smoother so i hired this trainer paid this guy thousands upon thousands of dollars if i told you how much dollar figure i paid for to have him train me for nine months it is ridiculous redonkulous and all I got out of it was him saying that I would look hotter if I was skinnier. He would fight with me over a slice of cheese, have me take pictures of every single meal I ate. It was just way, 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 way too far. He pushed me to the point to where like, I would about to throw up, but I heard that was like the, the thing that happens in the first time that you go to a training session. So I wasn't mad about that, but like, and like after I left him, he still wants to talk to me on my social medias. And I'm like, I moved from there and do not go to your training system for a reason. So watch out, no people that have done or gone to whatever trainer, lip injection doctor that you want to go to. I cannot stress that enough. The problem with me is I don't have many friends out here. So I just have to do everything by Yelp reviews. Oh, and that was another thing. He was like, you could get a discount for your next session. I'm like, cool, because I was going there for like over six months, but you have to leave me a Yelp review? What's this? I have to leave you a Yelp review just to finally get some sort of discount? How are you gonna bribe your customers into giving you a, they should have an honest review if you're running a business. Some people just want stuff for not doing much. If I'm not getting results, and I swear, sometimes people don't realize that they're being absolutely ridiculous. It's so crazy. I'm sure not all personal trainers are like that. I'm not coming here to bag on personal trainers whatsoever. That was just my first experience with one, and it wasn't grand. But not all trainers, not all makeup artists, not all people are alike. So let me tell you about this Etsy scam. Oh my gosh. So 
If you guys know me, I'm a grandma. I like collecting, I love anything, wearing anything floral. I like going out to garden, like going in a garden. Ooh. I like doing grandma things. And one of my grandma things, other than antiquing and thrifting and going out to gardens, is collecting Elvis t-shirts. I love Elvis. I've seen every single Elvis movie when I was a kid. And every single Shirley Temple movie, that's another story. Elvis, I collect only his shirts. No other memorabilia. People get it twisted. They start giving me all these Elvis stuff. Girl, I only collect the shirts. The Elvis t-shirts, okay? So I go on Etsy. I find this yellow shirt. You need to Google search image t-shirts, okay? When you're looking for... It said vintage, and they had so many good ratings. I always look at the ratings on stores, on Etsy, before I buy from them. It had great ratings, and they're like, this is a vintage Elvis t-shirt. I'm like, yes, sis. It was yellow. I've never had a yellow Elvis shirt. Ooh, this color slay. I got the shirt, and when I posted it on Instagram, I deleted the picture right away, because I was so nervous, because I said vintage and thing, because I was told it was vintage. And I deleted the picture because guess what? Someone said it was from Target. And I looked it up and it was from Target like over 10 years ago. It was not vintage. It was at Target for a lot cheaper than what I paid for her because I thought it was vintage. I was so embarrassed. I hate being scammed like that. I hate when people take advantage. Oh, Carity knows what she's doing. So I was really upset. I left a bad review and I never leave bad reviews only because I feel like I was scammed. How are you gonna tell me it was a vintage shirt and it's not, it's from Target. I was so upset as a huge Elvis t-shirt stan. Speaking of purchases that I got scammed over, I have another grand story to tell you about that. I swear, you guys are gonna think I'm dumb, but I did get scammed again buying more things. So what had happened was I was in Austin, Texas with Bunny. I wish I knew, remembered the name of this boutique. It was like one of those boutiques on Congress back when Congress was popping before they like moved everything around. They always move everything around. But I think this store is still there on Congress. But it was this random store and I found this beautiful ring I wanted. She said it was like antique, like it was a vintage coin. She had the store, I forgot what the story was about it. I was highly impressed with the ring and I thought it was beautiful. I wanted this ring. Bunny agreed the ring was beautiful. I took a picture. Again, you guys clock everything. I swear you I know you're looking out for me. I posted this ring on Instagram and someone told me it was a modern day coin in like sweet was it Sweden or Greece? But I was so upset because I was told it was like an antique coin ring. It wasn't. Got scammed again, girl. Scammed again! Let me tell you, maybe it's in my blood because my dad got scammed. Oh, he won't like me telling this, but I don't think he watches my YouTube channel. Me and my dad are like literally two peas in the pod. We used to not get along when I grew up, but like now we get along just fine. And I think it's cause we're literally the same type of person. He's just the guy form of me because we're both like very much social people like we need friendships and we need to see our friends like once a week or else we'll just like die on the inside oh my nose itches we're both creative he built movie sets i do try to do movie makeups and he buys stuff for other people which i do too like there's so many surprise gifts i give for people he wanted to surprise my mom with this gift because she always complains i feel like don't people might take this wrong but he bought her anti-wrinkle cream but because my mom wanted was talking about she wanted anti-wrinkle cream so he bought her this one that was like 90 dollars girl with shipping and stuff for and it had like snake venom in it he thought it sounded so cool my dad's into really unique interesting stuff like i am but i'm not into skincare that has snake venom as much unless it really i guess if it really worked i would so he got her this snake venom like cream that for wrinkles, right? It comes in the mail, he's so proud. He shows my mom this gift and she's like, this is weird, but thank you, honey, I love it. He's so proud, right? Then like a month rolls around. My dad, I was at his house, he was flipping out, yelling on the phone. I was visiting my parents. It literally turns out that he not only signed up for that Venom, $90 Venom, but it was a subscription, a monthly subscription. Monthly subscription of snake venom moisturizer. 
my dad was furious, so they were they had his credit card information that he bought the original from, but he didn't see in fine print that it was a monthly subscription service that he signed up for of Snake Venom. So he was yelling on the phone at these people. I tried to help him and try to talk to the lady how he felt scammed and he should have read the fine print. You know, it's a scam when they blame you and they don't like care about the customer whatsoever in that sentence. And I've seen celebrities, I can't say just influencers, it's been celebrities too, I've seen them hawk this, say you should buy from this company called Adore Me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, their bras are so cheap. They have like a five for 20 deal on panties and like they'll have a buy one get free on bras. I'm like, yes girl. And I don't know if they still do this, but this was like years ago. I wanna say three or four years ago when I bought from them. I'm like, I need a cheap bra, I need to get new bras. So I bought these bras for them. The bras, sucked they were so cheaply made i could have got some from i swear to you like the dollar tree that were better quality than these ones the bows were falling off of it i just washed it once some of the bows actually fell off and it was so cheaply made and it was one of those bras that were so like bad and ugly it turned your boobs into triangles and oh my gosh, I remember this bra now because I was starting to date Corey and like I got this cute bra and he thought it was cute but he was like, why is it falling apart on you? And I was so embarrassed. And it was a subscription service. I'm telling you, maybe me and my dad just have this bonded link where we get scammed together. <laughs> is there a scamming community on YouTube? I hope there's a scamming community on YouTube because they're looking out for you. But isn't that crazy? I'm using Dollar Lash Club lashes today. Love them. These lashes. Girl, poppin'. For a dollar, these are like some of the best dollar lashes on the market from Dollar Lash Club. Am I just saying that? I'm not affiliated with them. They just sent me some free lashes. Not being paid. That would be terrible if I did a video about scamming. I was hiddenly paid for everything I talk about. I feel like these eyeshadow colors just bring out the best of the best in my eyes. Cause my eyes are like, people don't realize my eyes are not brown. They're like a mix of green. And the older I get, the lighter they're getting. They're like green brown. My dad says, it's where the poop beats the grass. The doggy doo doo beats the grass. I'm like, thanks dad. So I am Native American and Japanese with green eyes, which is crazy. Oh, lipstick, forgot about her. We're gonna try this color called Love is a Battlefield from the Too Faced Peach Kiss Collection, moisture matte, moisture and matte, long wearing lipstick. Uh, the unfortunate thing about being a YouTube person and trying these makeups for the first time, we can't test the longevity of it. Ooh, it says this smells so, so delicious. I love the shape of this. I hate messing up, it has little peaches on it and it has the T and F for Too Faced. Oh, you have to do a couple layers because it gets patchy. Almost dark colors for most companies do. You know, we gotta situate that hair and get a necklace. We don't have to, but I just feel like it'll pop up. It looks pretty, but sounds cheap. <laughs> Me, as can be. So this is the makeup look today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I love the warm pumpkin spiceness with the berry bottom lash and this deep, dark lip. Hope you guys enjoy this makeup look as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should definitely check out some of these products I tried out today. This, I can't give it like a full review because it's dark color. You have the layer dark colors and I would like to try the other colors. It feels nice for being a matte though. We'll see, I don't know if it's long lasting. And Carity is amazing. I love this so much. They're really affordable and they run a little over $20. And some of, whenever you buy a palette, some of the proceeds go towards animal shelters, which is amazing. And this blended out so smoothly. I'll have to definitely check out more of their products. This berry bomb is bomb. And I love how there's two different blush colors and you get a highlighter. Carrie, you're, you're doing, you're doing your girls good here and they're affordable. Speaking of affordable, these eyelashes are so good for dollar eyelashes. This is Audrey by Dollar Lash Club. You can check them out down below as well. I love this foundation that we tried out today, but it does give a lot of flashback, unfortunately. So where, when you're not gonna be taking pictures of people, maybe for my YouTube videos, which sucks because 
I love the formula of this. I am in the color medium beige is what I have on today. In the color 270. They're all called beige most foundation companies. But um, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Have you ever been scammed? What do you think of the makeup? I really want to know. And I love you guys. And I will see you in another video. Bye.